Hello peoples and welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So here we are, we're back over here as the name of the station has not been decided yet we shall continue with the iron ore wagons so basically what we're going to do in this video is colour up the loads and weather the wagons so let's get started so here we are we're back at the bench and we're going to continue with these and get these finished meaning I'm going to colour up the loads as well as whether the wagons now I have googled iron ore and the colour of it and depending where it's mined throughout the world comes in various um, shades of colour um, the colour we're going to be looking at is the black and orange that comes in uh, well used to come in from time dot concert um, now looking for photographs of these wagons with the loads is very rare especially in color black and white that there's plenty but um, so judging by what I have seen these wagons are more or less like orange dust so with that in mind the focus will be um, creating something similar um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with a black weathering powder then over the top um, with some orange and hopefully the orange will come out um, significantly more than the black um, but we shall see and then once that's done it's just a case of weathering up the sides and back and uh, and fronts of these wagons um, weathering powders right I have a set of Tamila weather masting weathering powders which I've used on a number of occasions but it hasn't got the right color uh, that I want it's got the black brown and white um, so I decided to buy a set from DCC concepts and the volumes of paint or paddy you get are very very tiny very tiny so although I will use them I don't think it will be enough for the wagons then I have bought this one um, from MIG it's a pigment um, powder based as well so we shall have an experiment and see how these turn out um, weather and powders are not cheap <laughs> so you might have to shop around so first things first we're going to coat these with a black weather and powder uh, as a baseline so here we go I'm using the Mattia um, powder paints first just rubbing in the black as you can see that's really sinking into the um, ballast so this is going to take a while to do at the same time any loose ballast seems to be lifting up which uh, well as you saw in the previous video there's a three layers of ballast there so it's not going to rub them all up so we'll just see so I'm just using a brush and then brushing it in so what it looks good as it is but no I shall add the orange later on once I've uh, done all the black so that's the black done and if you wanted to you could leave it as it is 
Um, if you Google colours of iron ore, um, in its natural state, it is black and orange. But as it's been tipped and properly tipped and then tipped again, uh, moving from boats to wagons and um, obviously with the dust as well, it probably be more of the orange. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this uh, light rust pigment. Um, but I'm not going to put too much on, I'm just going to put it on very lightly because I don't want these to end up bright orange. So let's see how we get on. Just using a brush for this, just to dab it in to the thing and just... Oh, oh. Tell you what, I think I like the look of this. Maybe I've put too much on. I think I have, but I keep brushing it and brushing it. The black is still coming through. Because it's underneath. But uh, already I'm beginning to like this. Um, I think I have put too much on at the start. What I'll do then, I'll just dip that, put a, add a little bit black, so I've added a little bit more black, and just, now that's better, I like the look of that, so it's just a tiny amount you want very tiny amount yeah I think that's what I'm looking for I think I'll stick with this That's more natural. This little area here and here. This here looks a little bit too dusty, but then would there, been, would there have been dusty spots? Let's add a little bit more black in them dusty areas. What do you think guys? I quite like that. Got a mixture of uh, blacks, natural stone and the rust pigment. Even if you have the plastic loads, I'm wondering if it's worth giving it a try, especially if the um, the loads that you get with these is very coarse like this. If it is, then it might be worth giving that a try. Um, it does seem to be working. Um, it's hard to tell on the camera, but this colour, as you can see, there's a mixture of blacks, browns, and it just looks so natural. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with what I'm doing here. So we've gone with the black base and then just touching up with just make sure you get it on the edges as well and right down in the corners. So the pigment, light rust pigment 
by MIG is the one, I think. And I think some of them have got more orange, well, rust pigment in than others, but that doesn't matter because the loads are not 100% uniformed. Um, yeah, I do like the way that that's turning out. Now it's time to concentrate on the sides. So what I'm going to do is use the same light rust pigment again and just right across the tops of the wagon. Straight away you've got an instant um, well effect. Um, I'm sure if I dig up a photograph that is very very close. Chocolate is almost gone. I can live with that. And just for the ends as well, it's just across the top where you want to put it. You don't want to put it anywhere near the buffer beams if you can help it. But if you do get a little bit on there, just brush it in because it would have fallen on there anyway but don't go looking to put it on there just around the top edges the beauty about this is anybody can do it there you go, one down to go. So now it's time to add some more black weathering powder. This time along the base edge of the wagon, so just along here, maybe a little bit of the edges. So he just tones it down a little bit. Maybe creep up the sides there just a touch. You can hardly see it, but it's enough. Same goes for the backs, just along that edge. Just let it creep up a little bit. And for the final touch, add this rich old rust from DC Concepts. It's, it's, a, it's a darker brown. And what we do with this one is you just run it along the bogies and the underframe. And that just tones it down a little bit.
Yeah, so there we have it. The iron ore wagons are now finished, and um, I'm quite happy with the way that they have turned out. And um, and really, it's quite simple to do. Really, is simple to do. And here we are at the end of another video, almost. Um, yeah, over the past couple of weeks, I've really have enjoyed messing around with rolling stock and um, for a change, rather than building stuff. Um, but that's all about to change because we have this to do. And on that note, competition time. I've had over 50 entries regarding the naming of the station and it's been a really really hard for me to single one out um, as you can see there's lots of fantastic answers in amongst them but I have come to a last minute decision um, as you can see I've, I've ticked a few which I have really thought about and the one that I'm going to go with is Ed Hearings West Haven now two of these, these two words are well and truly linked to South Shields um, West as in the West Oak Station, West Oak Bridges, and Haven is the little beach down in South Shields called Little Haven. So, West Haven is the winner. So, Ed, hearing, if you um, ping us a message in the comments below, and somehow in this wonderful world of technology, we'll get in touch. And um, I'll get these wagons off to you. All right, I'd just like to thank everybody for uh, taking part in the competition. I tell you what, it was it was really really hard for me to choose one, um, and I very much appreciate um, all the entries. So yeah, thanks again, everybody. That was a really hard decision to make. So, just before we go, I have to give a really big shout out for somebody who has just come onto YouTube and is building something quite extraordinary to go along with his set of iron ore wagons. Um, the channel to look out for is Tyne Dock 54B. Um, like I said, he's only just come onto YouTube. Uh, he's he's at round about 10 subscribers and I tell you what he's worth my subscription definitely so check it check him out he is building the Tyne Dock um, stays for his iron ore wagons and it's an amazing structure it's well worth a look so on that note thanks for watching everybody Stay safe and um, enjoy your model railways. Bye for now. Bye.